Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. Here at last. That w that woman's taking advantage of us, she is. She knows full well we've nowhere else to turn. Will he truly be all right? I spend my days in quiet reflection. Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? I suppose you must be a visitor. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. You would procure it yourself? I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Tell is, Maya's might can be harvested from phantoms. Monsters that wander the world and night. Ah yes, now I see. To do what to do hoy arisen say have you heard about the state of the river do you know the river close by the church well it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts that's a problem for the church as it draws from the river to make holy water the water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Now we seek gold ore. Though it is sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. As you say. Unless I'm very much mistaken, we've got just what we need tucked away in storage. It wouldn't hurt to rest my feet a moment. 
not sure how much longer I can hold down. It would be a wasted opportunity not to make our delivery while we're here. Perhaps once we've concluded this bit of business, we might allow ourselves a moment's rest. I knew it to be so. Oi, Arisen! Have you found any gold ore yet? Wow! This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time? Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? Oh, thanks, Arisen. What would we do without you? I'll talk to the priests in the meantime, see if there's anything useful I can do. Now we've need of medicine. We can purchase it at shops or make some ourselves by combining the ingredients. No quarrel here. Hoi, Arisen! Have you brought any medicine with you? Now that's just splendid! Oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. Tis a goodly deed we've done aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways towards improving life in the slums. Tis no great shock to me. Oh, sir, if you please. Pray excuse my boldness, sir. I am but a humble maid in service to a noble household. Might I beg a moment of your time? My master is in need of aid, you see, and I'm hoping you'll consider offering your assistance. Oh, thank you, sir. You cannot imagine my relief. Might we continue this conversation somewhere more discreet? The matter it concerns is rather sensitive, and I would not risk being overheard. You will find my master's manor in the noble quarter. Pray, meet me there at your earliest convenience. Shall 
Shall we visit the manor as the maid bid? I know the way. Follow me. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. This way, if you please. Sir, I must confess I feared you would not, but I forget myself. You must be wondering why I asked you here. I should like to speak with an acquaintance of yours, a child with whom I espied you conversing. She is the spitting image of my young master, you see. It is my hope that she might take his place for a time, thereby granting him a reprieve from his sorry situation. Diana! Would you paint my mother a criminal? <clears throat> Perhaps I ought to be the one to explain. Young master, I... I meant no offence. Diana has the right of it, though the situation is not nearly so dire as she makes it sound. I seek only the freedom to leave my own home. My mother is bedridden, you see, and her mind is not so sharp as it once was. Whenever I am absent, she grows terribly distressed. By leaving a look-alike in the house, I hope to ensure her peace of mind while I attend to matters of my own. Would you be willing to lend your assistance? Splendid. Thank you so very much. Twas in the slums that I witnessed you speaking with the girl. Would you be so kind as to bring her here? Sir Ludolf's lust knows no bounds. This time he's set his sights on the watchhead's misses. Still, however pressed, no man is like to hand her his own wife, eh? The watchhead refused, and rightly so. But his lordship doesn't take no for an answer. He employed his usual method, which is to say, he dispatched the watchhead on a mission to slay a Dullahan. Poor old Gregor departed last night. I'm sorry to say it, but he shan't be returning alive. That's the sort of man that noble is, you see. Nought noble about him, if you ask me. That tyrannical Sir Ludolf thinks he can do whatever he likes. And, well, mayhap he's right. He had the watchhead himself sent off to fella Dullahan. That tyrannic. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? After you arisen. I've heard some interesting tidings about town. 
If you refer to changes in the military's makeup, I've heard the same. You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. Our adventure continues. Off we go then. I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. Not a care in the world. Just Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights arisen. No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. I'll not take that from you. I'm, in fine I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. I'll get that for you. I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Material such as this can be combined to craft things. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Leave the finding of equipment enhancing materials to me, Master. I shall, shall we bring Miss Daphne to see Master Sebastian? Twill be a joy to serve one so gallant. Would that I could stay with you forever, Arisen. I hope I can count on you in a scrape. Master. Welcome, sir. Contrary to the name, this little shop of if you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for yourself.
Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Aught I can help with. Hope to see you again. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. Speak your will, and I'll see it done. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Alone, will ye? At least my back's not acting up today. Well, come if you think me a liar, then buy something. The item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little poke to see you again. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy. The item you requested is complete. Here you are. I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience. Many thanks to you. Simply put, this is not the reward we would have asked for. Yet to cast it aside would only make this more pointless. Oh, tis a dismal feeling to be disappointed so utterly. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy the item you requested is complete. Hope to see you again. Oh, the sight! 
sight of yon ox cart has brought all my fatigue to the fore. Shall we climb aboard? They can be most convenient. Though. I reckon your roads be no trade towns can make you right sick of crowds, but... Here, at least, you'll find a bit of peace and quiet. Many thanks. Interested in my wares? What is true? Save it, cuz. I'm not interested. This ox cart's bound for Vernworth. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. For more than that. Considering the might of our combined experience, what other outcome could there have been? Make you quick. I ain't keen to drag this. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. What? Save it, cuz. Good 
no sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. could look upon this sky for all eternity if it wasn't for the crick in my neck this is for you master i thought it might come in useful We've arrived well enough. Where to next? This ladder can take us to new heights. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my rounds directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now, even their poor son, Lubomir, has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. Let me be the one to collect it. Lady Elena is willing- Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him. But he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. At any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... Something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Is there anything to do? Need someone to talk to? Here you 
are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Might I beg but a moment of your time? A moment's prayer can do a world of good. I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beastrons. Fascinating! Quite, though no definitive records remain. Good day, sir. Each of our patients deserves our full attention. Would that we had more hands to aid us. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abbess's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is, she gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeared for them. I do hope not befalls Lubomir. I should like to see him walk out of here in good health. This basement sick room sounds rather unsavory. Uh, shall we see what Sir Lubomir knows of it? Leave this to me, Master. I'll bring you straight to the one you seek. Well, if you... So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none save the Abbess can enter? If the Gracious Hand has a secret, tis the Abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the Abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, Will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the Abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. Aught about this reeks of a plot. Let us gather evidence that we might expose it. It is no great shock to me. Already are we? I know not why, but the words basement sick room set my hair on end. Shall we investigate? Not a bad idea. Hey. Ah. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. The patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. Heavens above. Heavens 
it's above. I need it. I need it. I need more medicine! My magics are at your disposal! Oh, someone help me! Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? Mayhap, twould serve us well to track down the former patients mentioned in these records of treatment. Tis as you say. We've found some evidence, but there might be more to discover. Let us scour every inch of this room. Not a bad idea. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. You can pick some now, and use them when the need arises. On, have a look. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint-like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room. And she watched over me through it all, Lesser. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Supposed is only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. Is it true you're the Arisen? That's what I've heard, anyhow. Only, I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the Arisen over in the tavern about six months ago. Just be sure you play your part well, whatever the truth. A fellow Drake or two, and I reckon you'll learn the people's fate. <laughs> Good luck to you. If you've naught to say, I'd best be going. At last! The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Aye, sir. What I can do for you? Is there a problem, sir? Good day, sir. Can't say I've any tidings to share. Well met! This here's the sanctuary of tipplers and merrymakers alike. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Many thanks. Elena. Ah, yes. The abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up and he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? Twas in the square in the eastern part of the common quarter, and always a night, as I recall. Oh, 
You wish me to return? At once, Master. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. It is an odd thing to wake after the sun has fallen. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat sport about this reeks of a plot. Let us gather evidence that we might expose it. I shan't quail. I cannot help but feel that our meeting was ordained from the first. This journey is ours arisen. You are in good health, I trust, arisen? Help. I need help. Here. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I near end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till I be seeing you. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. I fear I've much to attend to. What's your problem? Watch yourself. I'm not someone you want to cross. A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? After you arisen? Come to while it is admirable to devote yourself to a single pursuit, there can be no harm in trying something new, particularly if you are eligible for a special vocation. Heretofore, unseen opportunities of exciting potential.
Have you found any of the items we discussed, perchance? Always a pleasure. You pulled that off with nary a hitch. Twill be a rude shock for our foe to find you've pinched their loot. Hard luck, master. You've already pocketed all of that target's loot. Lucky us. That's worth taking. I'm barely scraping Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. May... You've my gratitude. It is lovely to see you. found some evidence, but there might be more to discover. Let us scour every inch of this room. Not a bad idea. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. If we've the item in hand, we ought not keep the recipient waiting. I only hope the recipient is pleased with our work. I knew it to be so. I fear I've much to attend to. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. But a moment of your time. I fear I've much to attend to.
To break the law is to be thrown in jail. As I understand it, the pay of a jailer is miserable for all their toil. Then we'd best keep some coin on hand to ease our potential warder's suffering and make them an ally to our cause. Oh, how I've longed to embrace my bedroll. Would that this moment might last an eternity. Methinks we've earned a brief repose. What say you were risen? I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat sport about this reeks of a plot. Let us gather evidence that we might expose it. Speak your will, and I'll see it done. Hmm? Oh, I, I didn't see you there. I suppose I was preoccupied with my thoughts. Thoughts of you arisen, naturally. This ladder can take us to new heights. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. The other day, I chanced to see a most resplendent ox cart on the high road. Now, that's not so strange, but guess who I saw riding in it? Oh, a nasty blow, Get that. to have come through unscathed. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. The latest tidings from Melv came as quite a shock. It's been decades since the dragon last appeared. It was a tragedy for those who suffered the beast's attack, to be sure. But I cannot deny it gave me a sense of hope. I thought to myself, with the dragon's coming, the Arisen shan't be far behind. An end to the Age of Proxies at last. And indeed, we have our Sovereign. Though he is yet abed, nursing those grievous wounds. Still, that I would see this kingdom restored to rightful rule in my lifetime. Ah, I could weep for joy. Anything? Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Got some good things on offer. Many thanks.
Riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their costs. This ox cart's bound for the- I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remember. It seems you've somewhere else in mind you'd rather go. If you've no need of my guidance, by all means, lead the way. The Arisen is capricious indeed, but don't despair. We shall count upon your guidance when the time comes. Careful. Oxen are like to charge when angered. to find out what's inside. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Indeed. To 
was enough to make one pity our foe. a bit. You mustn't stretch yourself too thin. While traveling beyond the rift, I uncovered a treasure chest hidden in this very locale. Shall we seek it out? I go where fortune whispers, friend. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Need anything? I enjoy this work. Keeps me on my toes. Stop by again soon. Well, it takes two to make a sale, and this cellar had nothing to tempt us with. Our funds are better spent elsewhere. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. Those recruits don't know pommel from point. You'll never believe this, but the other day I saw a normally you put an elf and it may hap my eye. Tis my duty to hear the people's concerns.
There's always something that needs doing. Shame there aren't as many folks spinning tall tales in the tavern of late. I rather enjoyed hearing the one about the Gigantus. Have you heard it? It is said to descend in times of conflict, scattering friend and foe alike, and leaving only death and ruin in its wake. <laughs> Sounds like the last thing we need, doesn't it? If you want my advice, heed no advice, save your own. Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Sir Murden's stop take is not the friendliest of Nick. Sir Mirrodin, who calls yon man a home, is said to be a sorcerer of great renown. Tell is, he keeps all manner of magical implements in his abode. Mind, I don't believe anyone's really seen them. He's rather a crotchety sort, to say the least. You pay him a visit, and he's like to turn you away afore you've even said hello. It's been a hot day. So. You seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Leave this place at once! You have no right to be here! Fools. We'll see who's I ought to have, enough. have you not eyes to see my busy state? We've naught to discuss. What I can do for you. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? After you arisen. Oi, keep your distance. Save it, cuz. I'm not interested. Got some business with me. Huh. Save it, cuz. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Let me be the one to collect it. Might we consider boarding an ox cart? Oh, I don't know about you, but my legs are stiff as boards. It is the Arisen's choice to make, though I certainly wouldn't begrudge the chance to put my feet up. Reckon your uh, trade towns can make you right sick of crowds, but here you shan't hear me complain about an early repose.
I was a tad incautious in my travels this time. A horde of goblins got the better of me, if you can believe it. I have a feeling fortune shall favour us this day. Off we go then. I hope you slept well. Suppose I could enjoy some idle chit chat. Can't put a price on Need anything? I'm, I'm nodding off where I stand. Really now? I am. I grow restless when I do the same thing all along. These writings could be of import. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. I find any turn. You best make yourself scarce. Aye? In need of a doctor, are you? What's this you're giving me? Oh, I see. You want me to run some sort of test on this? Determine what manner of substance it is? Interesting. Well, you've certainly piqued my curiosity. Whatever your reasons, I'll take a look. Naturally, I'll need a bit of time with it. Come back again in... Oh, I don't know. Later. What is it? I've not had the time to look into that mixture of yours yet. Have a little patience, won't you? Master, we cannot deliver that which we do not possess. Well, next year, I'll Apart from my joints, I've 
not to complain of. Right. Just follow me. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. We could pick some now, and use them when the need arises. Ah, there you are. You've come at a good time. I've just finished running those tests. I must ask, where did you acquire that concoction? Tis a fell thing you got there. To be plain, tis more poison than physic. It has the potential to heal one's ailment, certainly. But only if they could survive long enough, which isn't likely. Worse still, it has addictive properties that are likely to cause the patient to become dependent on its deadly effects. I say patient, but I should hope whoever made this did not intend it as a method of treatment. You'd have to be well and truly mad to attempt such a thing. Could you come over here? Worse still, it has a safe patient. I enjoy tackling fierce foes, and what about this reeks of a plot? Let us gather evidence that we might expose it. Apologies, Master. My mind was a thousand leagues away. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy some. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. to see you again. We have sufficient evidence to warrant Lady Elena's arrest. Let us apprehend her and set proceedings in motion. I know where that person can- This ox cart's bound. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had- Balance! 
finish this. Wretch, do not say I envy you.
all fond of picking things up, aren't you? I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall fuck should you wish to pick your foes off from afar. You need look no further than an archer such as I. took nary a moment. Now that we're here, what did you have in mind, Arisen? anything? Many thanks. You seem rather fond of shopping, Master. Mm, we mustn't overspend. It is as you say. was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Oh? Did it pertain to the Queen Regent? And an important per personage. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. I 
cannot help but feel that our meeting was ordained from the first. This journey is ours, Arisen. Yours and mine. You are in good health, I trust, Arisen? Greetings. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. May You've my gratitude. It is lovely to see you. We have sufficient evidence to warrant Lady Elena's arrest. Let us apprehend her and set proceedings in motion. Leave this to me, Master. I'll bring you straight to the one you seek. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Is there aught I can help you with, sir? Oh, if you're looking for Lubomir, his condition deteriorated to the point that he had to be moved to the basement sick room. He's not allowed visitors, I'm afraid, not even family. Even we're not allowed to go see him. No, no need to worry, though. The Abbess is tending to him personally. She'll nurse him back to full health, I'm sure of it. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say, we collect as much as we can carry. I fear I've much to attend to. I caught a whiff of danger. To battle, Arisen. Let us see if we can't draw near without being discovered. Tis easily done. <clears throat> Might I beg but a moment of your time? Wish me at the vanguard? By your will. We have sufficient evidence to warrant Lady Elena's arrest. Let us apprehend her and set proceedings in motion. Leave this to me, Master. I'll bring you straight to the one you seek. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. I 
got a... Is there aught I can help you with, sir? Oh, if you're looking for Lubomir, his condition deteriorated, to the point that he had to be moved to the basement sick room. He's not allowed visitors, I'm afraid, not even family. Even we're not allowed to go see him. No, no need to worry, though. The Abbess is tending to him personally. She'll nurse him back to full health, I'm sure of it. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. I say, we collect as much as we can carry. The patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. The patients in this room... The patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. We have sufficient evidence to warrant Lady Elena's arrest. Let us apprehend her and set proceedings in motion. Say no more, Master. I know just where to find this person and will guide you there post haste. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. What am I supposed to do? Is there aught I can help you with, sir? Oh, if you're looking for Lubomir, his condition deteriorated, to the point that he had to be moved to the basement sick room. He's not allowed visitors, I'm afraid, not even family. Even we're not allowed to go see him. No, no need to worry, though. The Abbess is tending to him personally. She'll nurse him back to full health, I'm sure of it. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. I say. We collect as much as we can carry. The patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. What are you doing? Unhand me this instant. Many thanks for your assistance in this matter. Elena is being questioned as we speak. Suffice to say, your testimony, combined with the evidence you've procured, have cast a great deal of suspicion upon the Abbess that she isn't like to shake. Pray have this, sir. It is your reward for aiding us in our duty to this city. Many thanks for your assistance in this matter.
No fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. I suppose all we can do is wait. The latest tidings from Melf came as quite a shock. It's been decades. It was a tragedy to those who... I thought to myself... With the dragon, and indeed, we have our sovereign! You. I wonder how you must feel, having locked me away in this dismal place. Do you think yourself just? If so, you are sorely mistaken. There are many in this world who require salvation. I merely borrowed the aid of those who could offer it. Just as there are theories that may only be tested on living flesh, so are mortal bodies the sole source of certain... materials. And, whatever you may think, all lives are not made equal. Tis the truth, whether you choose to acknowledge it or not. The sickly folk of the slums are fated to die, to waste away till death grants them its mercy. I merely gave their deaths a greater purpose. If anything, I deserve your praise, not this awful cell. Is that you, Lord Phasus? Oh, tis only you. The one who caught me in the midst of my little deal. I suppose you must be proud of yourself. Your meddling has seen me confined to this cell for the foreseeable future. How very absurd that tis I behind these bars and not you. I'd thought spying the greater crime. Is that you? Oh, I suppose you must be proud of yourself. How very absurd. I hasten home, were this not my duty. Do not approach me. I'd hasten home. I cannot it's abide not my your duty. presence. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What could this mean? I owe you a great debt. Is that you, Lord? Oh, I suppose you must be proud of yourself. How very absurd.
Master. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. feet you run too fast for the likes of me no time to catch your breath try to keep up you shan't hear me complain about an early repose Thank you. 